Imagine turning on your computer in 2026 and being greeted by a Linux desktop that feels calm, intentional, and quietly powerful. Nothing screams for attention, nothing feels bolted on, and nothing wastes your time. The system boots almost instantly, not because it is stripped bare, but because every component knows exactly what it is responsible for and nothing more. This is what a perfect Linux desktop looks like in 2026. Not flashy for the sake of screenshots, not overloaded with features nobody asked for, but thoughtfully designed around how people actually use computers today. The first thing you notice is how clean everything feels. The desktop itself is not a cluttered dumping ground for icons. Instead, it is more like a focused workspace. Maybe there is a subtle, high-resolution wallpaper that adapts to your system theme, slightly shifting tones depending on the time of day. It is not animated in a distracting way, but alive enough to remind you that the system is aware of context. The panel or dock is minimal, intelligently spaced and customizable without forcing you to edit config files unless you want to. You can resize it, reposition it, or even make it disappear entirely when not in use, and all of this happens smoothly, without stutter or visual glitches. Window management feels natural and intelligent. In 2026, the perfect Linux desktop no longer forces you to choose between traditional stacking windows and hardcore tiling setups. Instead, it blends both approaches seamlessly. You can drag windows freely like you always have, but the moment you move one toward an edge or a corner, the system gently suggests layouts. These are not rigid grids that lock you in, but flexible arrangements that adapt as you open more applications. If you prefer keyboard-driven workflows, the system fully supports that too, with discoverable shortcuts and visual hints that help you learn rather than punish you for not memorizing everything up front. Animations exist, but they are subtle and purposeful. Opening an app, switching workspaces, or snapping windows feels fluid, but never slow. The desktop respects the idea that animations should communicate state changes, not show off the GPU. On lower-end hardware, these animations scale down automatically, preserving responsiveness. On powerful machines, they remain smooth and consistent, never crossing into the territory of distraction. This balance is something Linux struggled with for years, but by 2026, it finally feels solved. Theming is another area where the perfect Linux desktop shines. In the past, changing themes often meant breaking apps or dealing with inconsistent visuals between toolkits. In 2026, that problem is largely gone. Applications follow system-wide design guidelines more closely regardless of whether they are built with GTK QT or web technologies. Light and dark modes are not just color inversions, but carefully designed palettes that maintain contrast, readability, and aesthetic coherence. Accent colors propagate consistently across the system, from buttons to sliders to notifications, without requiring third-party hacks. Typography plays a huge role in this experience. The default fonts are chosen for readability on modern high DPI displays, with excellent hinting and spacing. Text looks sharp without feeling cramped. You can adjust font size and scaling easily, and the system respects those choices everywhere, including legacy applications. This might sound like a small detail, but it dramatically affects how comfortable the desktop feels during long work sessions. The application ecosystem in this perfect Linux desktop is mature and cohesive. Core system apps are fast, simple, and focused. The file manager opens instantly, handles large directories without freezing, and provides powerful features like split views, tabs, and advanced search without overwhelming the interface. The settings app is logically organized, searchable, and actually complete. You no longer need to jump between three different tools to manage displays, input devices, and power settings. Everything is there, explained in plain language, with sensible defaults that work for most people. Software installation and updates are almost invisible. Thanks to widespread adoption of sandbox packaging formats and immutable or semi-immutable system designs, your base system remains stable and predictable. Applications update independently, and if something goes wrong, rolling back is trivial. You do not fear updates anymore. In fact, you barely think about them. The system handles security patches quietly in the background, notifying you only when a restart is genuinely necessary, and even then it explains why. Performance is another defining characteristic. The perfect Linux desktop in 2026 feels fast not just on new hardware, but on older machines as well. Memory usage is efficient, CPU scheduling is smart, and background services behave themselves. 
The system does not randomly spike usage because some daemon decided to index your entire home directory without asking. You feel in control, and the system respects that. When something is using resources, you can see it clearly and stop it easily. Power management is also deeply refined. On laptops, battery life rivals or even exceeds that of proprietary operating systems. The desktop intelligently balances performance and efficiency based on what you are doing. Watching a video, writing code, or browsing the web all trigger different optimization profiles, but these transitions are seamless and invisible. Suspend and resume work reliably every time without Wi-Fi issues, audio glitches, or broken Bluetooth connections. This reliability builds trust, something Linux desktops historically struggle to achieve for average users. Notifications are another area where maturity shows. They are informative without being intrusive. You can interact with them directly, reply to messages, control media playback, or dismiss them with a simple gesture or keystroke. Notification history is easy to access, and you can fine-tune which apps are allowed to interrupt you and when. Focus modes integrate deeply with the system, muting distractions during work hours or presentations while still allowing important alerts through. Workspaces in virtual desktops feel like a natural extension of your workflow rather than an advanced feature hidden away. You can create and remove them dynamically, assign apps to specific workspaces, and move between them smoothly. The overview mode gives you a clear picture of everything that is open without overwhelming you. This encourages better organization and reduces cognitive load, especially for people who juggle many tasks at once. Hardware support, often a pain point for Linux, is remarkably solid in this ideal 2026 setup. Plugging in a new device usually just works. Printers, scanners, webcams, drawing tablets, and audio interfaces are recognized quickly and configured with sensible defaults. Firmware updates for hardware are integrated into the system update process, reducing the need for vendor-specific tools. This makes Linux feel like a first-class citizen on modern hardware rather than an afterthought. The audio experience is polished and predictable. Switching between headphones, speakers, and microphones is quick and reliable. Per application volume control is standard and audio routing is flexible without being confusing. Whether you are recording a podcast, joining a video call, or gaming, the system handles audio gracefully. Latency is low, quality is high, and things do not randomly stop working after suspend or resume. Security and privacy are baked into the experience rather than bolted on. Applications run in sandboxes by default, with clear prompts when they need access to your files, camera, or microphone. These prompts are understandable and easy to manage later if you change your mind. The system provides transparency about what is running, what has network access, and what permissions have been granted. This creates a sense of confidence without turning the desktop into a fortress that is impossible to use. Customization remains a core strength, but it is more approachable. You can tweak almost everything if you want, from window behavior to keyboard shortcuts to visual effects. At the same time, you do not need to customize anything to have a good experience. The defaults are genuinely good, designed by people who understand both aesthetics and usability. For power users, deeper customization is still available, often through well-documented settings or optional configuration files, rather than obscure forum posts. The terminal integrates beautifully with the desktop instead of feeling like a separate world. It supports modern features like GPU accelerated rendering, rich text, and seamless clipboard integration. You can open it anywhere, quickly, and it respects your theme and fonts. For developers and system administrators, this makes Linux feel like home, while for newcomers it feels less intimidating and more like just another powerful tool. Development workflows are first-class citizens on this desktop. Container tools, virtual environments, and language runtimes integrate smoothly with the system. Editors and IDEs run fast, look consistent, and have access to hardware acceleration where appropriate. At the same time, creative workflows like video editing, graphic design, and music production are no longer niche or awkward. The necessary tools are available, performant, and stable enough for professional work. Gaming on the perfect Linux desktop in 2026 is no longer a novelty. Game launchers integrate cleanly, controllers work out of the box, and performance is competitive. You do not have to fight the system to get games running, and compatibility layers are well integrated and largely invisible. The desktop stays out of the way when you launch a game, allocating resources intelligently and preventing background tasks from interfering. Accessibility is treated as a fundamental requirement, not an optional add-on.
screen readers, magnification, high contrast modes, and alternative input methods are deeply integrated and easy to configure. These features work consistently across applications, making the desktop usable for a much wider range of people. This commitment to accessibility reflects a broader maturity in the Linux desktop ecosystem. One of the most important aspects of the perfect Linux desktop in 2026 is how it makes you feel. It does not constantly remind you that you are using Linux. You are not fighting the system, troubleshooting basic things, or searching for obscure commands just to get through your day. Instead, the desktop fades into the background, allowing you to focus on your work, creativity, or entertainment. When you do need to interact with the system, it responds predictably and respectfully. Community influence is still visible, but in a refined way. You can tell that the desktop is shaped by passionate users and developers, but there is also a strong sense of design leadership. Decisions feel intentional rather than accidental. Features are added because they solve real problems, not because they look impressive in release notes. This balance between community freedom and coherent vision is what makes the experience feel complete. Documentation and help are easily accessible and written for humans. When something goes wrong, the system provides clear error messages and actionable suggestions. You do not feel abandoned or blamed for not knowing something. This dramatically lowers the barrier for new users while still respecting the intelligence of experienced ones. In this vision of 2026, the perfect Linux desktop is not a single distribution or environment. It is more like a shared set of principles that many projects have embraced. Whether you prefer GNOME style simplicity, KDE style flexibility, or something entirely different, the core experience is consistent, fast, stable, respectful of the user, and visually polished. Ultimately, what makes this Linux desktop perfect is not that it tries to compete directly with proprietary systems by copying them, but that it confidently embraces its own strengths. It values openness, user control, and efficiency while finally matching the usability and refinement people expect from a modern operating system. In 2026, this desktop does not feel like the future of Linux. It feels like Linux has finally arrived exactly where it belongs.